Hey, it's Joe Lines, and uh, here's another tool I wrote for helping web scraping. So let's say I was on Amazon and I was trying to look at, get the values from this, especially programmatically to see what, um, usually there's like a key value with a number and then the text. And so you can come in with the IWB2 learner tool and click here and you get this honestly mess and then you have to go through and clean it up and i just got tired of cleaning it up so this script here let me go ahead and launch it um it pre-populates it with some text here but this is just dummy text i could run it here oh let me go ahead and run it so that would show you oh this is this is the search for that right um i have a hot key to reload it but i can come in here and copy this paste it and now when i run it it has cleaned it up right so it's really easy for me to look at these key value pairs and say uh, so in this case they're not numbers but we have text so garden and that's the thing for garden or local services business services so you, you can see what's associated with what and it just it's a for me just a great quick time saver to, to be able to look at it and it looks like maybe i have a little problem with it because uh i'll bet you there was something oh it's just like a line break that goes to the next the one up above it um, so there's something with my parsing, but you get the idea. Um, I, I'm big into making tools to help me work. So even though I'm doing web scraping, like why don't I make some tools that make it easier to web scrape? So this WB2 learner tool, I borrowed and added to that over time, right? So you, so um, I'll make this script available. I'm not too sure there's anything fancy in it. Um, it's basically just taking the text and parsing it, loading it into a list view. And uh, I, this was done a long time ago, um, like eight years ago. So again, I'm no fancy code, no nothing special, but um, very helpful. And again, just that's one of the big things when you're developing code, find ways to, you know, speed up that development of code. I, I it's, it's amazing how many things, once you start thinking about it, like you're like, wow, I do this a lot. You know what? I'm going to build something that will automate that process. Cheers.